Hello everybody, Sift here again with another end game of Devil, the Luckby Landlord Roguelike. And today we're going to be playing difficulty level 14. Comment down below if you want to see Endless. It has been three days. I mean, for you guys, it has been three days. For me, it's all of these are recorded back to back. So I'm still waiting for the comments to get in. As um, I think I have like 10 recorded back to back on this game at this point, And I don't know what you guys want. But if you want Endless Invasion, tomorrow is the day we're going to play Endless. So for today, we're going to play level 14. The opponents have a bunch of, bunch of, bunch of, bunch of more life. A lot, lot, lot more life. Dangerous Maze. The chance of getting epic minions is up. That's really good. But non-elite adventurers prefer to go in the corners. That's bad because opponents are going to be harder to hit with melee units and then holy staff is cooldown one gain one sacred golem so that means every turn i'm gonna get the sacred golem until i have two if two or less are on the board so that means i'm gonna have three i'm gonna have three sacred golems on the deck we start with the classic adventurers five life four turns my deck is two skull nurturers which are range attackers that's good i mean basic ghosts which is really good because they attack you know, uh, the lowest health opponent, and then an imp after two turns, it shoots out the fireball for two damage. Let's begin. So everybody should be all the time in corners, I guess. It's gonna be bad for melee units, but we don't have melee units other than the ghost. Uh, I'm gonna get the sword, of course. We're always gonna start with a good old swordy sword. And uh, for the things with the relics, I'm using the trinkets, the meta aggression choices. First of all, let's get the bloated zombie so that it flows. We are going for a chance to gain legendary epic is higher. Also, when I refresh, it becomes even higher to get elite or legendaries. I mean, are, are epics and elites different? Why does it say to appear elite or legendary minions? And here it says uh, epics. Eh, doesn't matter. And then also more refreshes and also higher chance for rarer ep minions. So the idea is we just want to find high chance of getting something rare. Let's see what the choice is. A slime again. No, let's refresh away. And then let's refresh our go away twice. I guess I'm going to try to go for a vampire build. Let's go with bats. Let's try to force a vampire build. Although forcing builds is never a good idea. But you never know. Blood Arrow will also attack Adventures near attack target. This is good. I'm gonna take this and maybe Blood Arrow build is the go-to. Generate Thunderstorm. That's pretty much free damage. Might as well go for that. I'm trying to mix and match here as to what exactly the build's going to be. Does this guy have a passive? I don't think so. Uh, werewolf is here. Let's get the Werewolf. Now is a good chance to go for the Werewolf build. And it also fits with the Blood Arrow thing because there are two Werewolf passives. One say that the Werewolf become more powerful. The other say that... Let's go Thunderstorm. The others say that the werewolves, when they attack, they shoot out a blood arrow. So we literally are almost set up for that. I'm gonna go with the good old bloated zombie, as that's gonna remove itself. Now, the main issue with werewolves is that they are melee, and opponents have the bad thing where they go in the corners. Let's get in 10 turns an epic minion. This guy has 6 life, I hope he's gonna die. That chain light. Oh. Oh no, he survived. No, we lose 1 life. It's okay though. It's not the end of the world, but it's a bit sad. Gain a sacred golem and 1 epic minion. Every eight turns. One, one, yeah, one epic. I mean, it's good and bad at the same time. Swamp Worm after seven toxic fogs. Or get three minions recruits. Let's go with three minion recruits. I don't care about any of these. Skip. I shouldn't skip, actually. I should never skip. Especially this early. We just lost a life. So skipping is not a good idea. <laughs> Let's start gaining stuff. Bullywag is here. Let's go for Blade Wave. Maybe that's going to be the build. We're still 50 50 on that aspect gonna be blade wave build or if it's gonna be werewolf build and poison another bully walk deal wave blade to nearby adventures let's go with that too so we got two blade bully walks now now the issue with this is nearby so and opponents are going into corners i guess i can go for skilled archer because that's ranged and it's gonna help us out take some shots nice these guys have three turns does this guy have a, a downside let's get our mimic very nice what do you do minus one damage taken from shadow bolts and fireballs okay that's not that bad for us and we need Oh no, we have two units alive here. Oh no, I don't think we got them. I don't think we got them. I don't think we got these boys. Oh, Chain Lightning saved us. This guy's gonna survive, of course. We lose our life. It's okay. Our difficulties have those things going on. Infernal, after three use of CD of Demon Warlock. I don't have Demon Warlock. Deal five damage to all adventurers per five Fireball Delts. That's a Fireball build. Uh, remove the highest attack minion of normal quality and deal damage to all the opponents every two turns. Let's go with... Fireball build, maybe. Blood arrow after eight turns. Maybe that's gonna help. Also, it's a range attacker. We need range attackers, so we have more control. So right now we're going for a vampire slash blade wave slash. Let's go with attack slash vampire werewolf build. I hope I'm gonna get the werewolf build or the vampire build. To be honest, both of these are pretty rare to get. Let's get self removing stuff, so I don't have to care about self removing stuff while also having more units. What did I? I, I got the murloc thing. I'm gonna say let's get a trend leveling absolutely. What the, what is the more like thing we rolled? Deal one day extra deal one extra damage, attack, and repeat one time per Murloc on the board. Oh, we go Murlocs right now. 
We just got the best Warlock. So this thing is ranged, does three damage, and attacks every time per Murloc. Right? Three damage, ranged, and attacks once again for each Murloc. Okay, we definitely go Murlocs. I, I would like to get the thing that says recruit a Murloc, and we're going to start banishing the whole board if I find that. Deal two blast. Now let's get a zombie that's going to explode. Obviously, we're going to get random trash mobs just to have something going on. And what did we find? Deal AoE with trends and whatnot. Deal 3 damage with fireballs. I mean, the fireball build is still on the board, so let's take that. We have two things that here. Here we found a murloc. Let's go for that. Very nice. So that's going to increase our damage pretty quickly. Nice, nice, nice. I would like to get the murloc. It would give us more murloc. So that's like maybe the most important thing to get. And our murloc. Very nice. Very nice. Attack on. Here we go. Nice attacks. And we got a trend. Did we just get a trend out of that? Remove the lowest attack undead minion on the board. We're going to obviously take this. So we start removing all the undeads we have. It's really nice and safe. We got attack on all of these because of the sword. Another bullywog. I mean, for now, might as well take it. The undeads are going to start removing themselves. So we will need something to keep the pressure on. We have three, four bull bullywogs. Another werewolf is here. Mm, let's go with the sword, actually. The sword's actually really good because it buffs up the Murloc Chieftain. And honestly, that's the most important thing to do. I, I need to power up the Murloc Chieftain as much as I possibly can. That is the, the most important thing here. Let's uh, let's keep the refreshes for later. Lightning destroyed there. Very nice. We got two Murlocs on the board. Uh, attack. The, the, highest, the minion with highest attack gets more damage. Or deal four damage to the Ventures on the edge of the corner. This is actually good because all the opponents are obviously on the edge of the corner. But I think I want to go with this. Putting minions every footprint is also really good. What's my highest attack minion right now? Is my question. 2, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 2. The chieftain is 4. This thing is 5. Okay, we're going to banish the poison trend. And then we're going to start powering up the chieftain that is 4. With the arrow. So let's try to banish the chieftain the first chance. Uh, not the chieftain. The What is this? The, here it is. The trend. Nice shots. Okay, nice attacks in general. I've got another Morlock is here. Very nice. Very nice. It's coming together, man. It's coming together. Chieftain got the damage just now. I just saw it. Uh, none of these, to be honest. Let's skip. I would like to get refresh-related stuff, if possible. Nice attack. We got another kill on one of those. Damage taken, plus one for the adventure is not really... Uh, we're going to still skip. I tried to make the deck smaller and smaller. We still have 21 units in the deck, so we definitely want to become smaller if possible. None of these. Skip ahead. Go on. The deck is still too big. Nice. Got some kills. And everything's toast. I mean, opponents have a life on the board. Gain removal. I... Yeah, I'm gonna say yes. Let's let's get some removals. This guy is 11. Yeah, we got the kills. Nice. And the killer. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. We're still gaining everything. And if you have a lot of tentacles, nope. Enable CD ability for mimics instantly. And 5% chance of getting a new mimic. Nope. And chance for higher rarity minions. Rare, epic, and legendary. So if there are rare epic and legendaries, then <laughs> German Von Thunderstorm or Toxic Fab removal. I mean, I can take this. It's going to remove itself anyway because we got the Necromancer removing things this whole time. So that thing is also going to remove, get removed. It just got removed itself instantly on the spot. Uh, I'm going to skip here. Let's go. Nice. The arrow is going to go now. It's going to fire its shot. It did the AoE damage. Lich. I mean, I'm going to take the Lich and I'm going to remove the Necromancer right now. We have four of these. Why do I have four of these? Because it works on the board. Yeah, this thing adds more of them if they're not on the board. And I also don't care about the imp anymore. Actually, fireball is something we are using. So let's keep the imp. I don't care about the trant, but I'm going to wait for the trant to level up. And then I'm going to throw it away. Because one out of two chance, it's going to become the trant that gives us more stuff. Bloated zombie explodes on its own. I mean, not really. We don't need to add trash on the deck. We don't need to add trash in the deck anymore. Nice, decent attacks. Good attacks. Thunder Dragon generates thunderstorms. I mean, if I get this, how much damage does the Chieftain have right now? Yeah, I cannot get the Dragon because it's going to start taking away the damage the Chieftain would be gaining. No. No, I just want more locks. Here we go for another one. Very nice. This Imp is useless. The Bad's useless. The Werewolf is useless. But they might as well stay in the deck. Might as well be have because we have 18 units right now. And click to remove the specified minion and gain one higher quality minion. Removal after two uses. Yeah, don't run on built in whatnot based on toxic fogs and thunderstorms or protect two diamonds. I guess let's protect two diamonds because I have one. So I now just got three diamonds. Self remove if vampire is in the void. I mean, we don't have a vampire. Throw away. Throw away. Spirit, no. Throw away. Throw away. Okay, that's enough. Let's get the plus one damage to everything. Sword. Just wait. 
Okay, the game. If the Chieftain is on the board, we're gonna lose, by the way. So we definitely need to remove some trash units. I don't care about any of these. Let's banish the Imp and the Bat. The Bat also doesn't really matter. The rest stays. The rest stays. Chieftain go. There is a Murloc that gives us a one Murloc every turn. That would be... Oh, well, attack on the board gets plus one permanently. A unit on the board gets plus one for attack permanently. Although that might hit things that I don't want it to hit. That's okay. Skip. Oh. Like everything, who's gonna get the buff? The Werewolf got the buff. Nice. Another Murloc. Oh. Nearby Murlocs will deal AoE. That's a better Murloc than that other Murloc. That's nice. This guy just attacked twice with AoE. Hit them all. Very nice, very nice. Imp, no, refresh away. Refresh away. Dagon, Calamity will be extra to adventures. This is godlike, but we're not a Calamity build. And I'm gonna start keeping the refreshes for actually rolling relics, because there are Murloc relics, obviously. When a minion CD turns to zero, it has a 50% chance to gain plus one attack permanently. Well, guess who's who, what minion has a cooldown of this? This this here has a cooldown. So we're gonna obviously start scaling the damage of that thing. Uh, I don't care about any of these, skip. Let's go adventurous again. Murloc build, Murloc build, although we don't have the actual Murloc that spawns Murlocs, but that's okay. Gain a Murloc, found it. Found it. We found the Murloc spawner, so now I need to start removing stuff. Obviously, the Lich stays. The Bully Walks can go. Yeah, the Bully Walks can definitely go. Let's send these out. That's not going to be the build. And the Werewolf can also go, to be honest. So let's banish the Werewolf too. I mean, there is no rush. Let's attack. The Thunderstorm Generators can go. Oh, it just got damage. Yeah, we definitely are going to banish those. They attack, uh, attack to the highest minion. We, we definitely take this. I see the Murloc, but we're going to get so many Murlocs. Let's banish the Thunderstorms. And uh, let's also banish the Poison Treant. I mean, I, I'm a bit too eager here with the banishes, is my opinion. But that's okay, because this Murloc here is just destroying. Jeremy Accelerates, not really. Refresh away. Yet... Ooh. Yet refreshes. I'm gonna take this guy, although we already used so many banishes. Okay, it's going well. This guy attacks for insane damage. 99 right now. Crits, nope. Skip. I think the time has come for you to go. Let's go. Let's go. So the build is 100% Murlocs and one Bullywog, which is gonna go. Adventurers are destroyed. Generate accelerates. I'm gonna say, do we have cooldown related? I mean, yeah, we want this guy to start getting his cooldown and we don't want the, this guy to get cooldown, but that's okay. Let's go with accelerates. Bullywog, no, we don't care about any of these. Let's go, we have 17 units, which is Almost as much as we want to have. Nice. Good attack there. 159 damage. All nearby minions gain attack plus one. I mean, this helps with the Murloc build. And we're gonna banish the last bully walk. And that's the build. We're gonna start gaining banishes and refreshes from this guy. And we're gonna start gaining damage from everything else. Infernal on recruit get calamities. No skip. I'm gonna now keep... Every single thing we have, every single refresh we have for relics that are based on Murlocs. So we want Murloc relics. There are two Murloc relics. There is one that says Murlocs poison and there is another one that says on attacks, shoot out uh, fireballs or something. Refresh away. Thunderstorm and what does are good? No, refresh away. Two more Shadow Balls per doll, no refreshes. Six refreshes, no, refresh away. Deal damage, no. No, 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 remove. Moving organic minions, plus damage Medusa, no. Time Hound, damage, no. One of these. Medusa once again, electric. Removing this treasure will remove normal quality minions, no. Same thing. Nope. Didn't find anything. Didn't find anything. Well, I guess removing this treasure will remove all normal quality minions and gain the same amount of refreshes. Let's take this. I can remove pretty much all the Murlocs on the, on my in my deck if I want to. Did I try this? I'm gonna literally remove every single Murloc from the deck. Not from the deck, from the board. Get the sword. Actually, no, skip. The deck is becoming a bit too big. We're getting refreshes. Look at all of these attacks. And now Murloc joined the deck. Uh, no, skip. Is there anything that doesn't fit in the build? I mean, other than these three. I think no. I think everything's good. Where's the Chieftain? Chieftain's here. 25 damage Chieftain, 209 damage. Let's go, my Chieftain boy. Boom. And now it's going to attack everything. Fire, Chieftain. Da -da 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 -da. Everything died. Skip away. 
I'm gonna still keep all the refreshes for the Murloc build. I really enjoy this thing giving us refreshes. Da -da -da -da, everything died. Calamity for Darksaber. Deal one wave blade for a dude. Dragon. No, refresh away. Dragon and whatnot. Get a bunch of refreshes. Let's get a bunch of refreshes. Everything plus one. No, so it's no. Skip. Now I'm gonna actually try to rush that. That's right, right? Every six turns get a refresh. That is not what I thought it is. I thought it is the use it and instantly get Wow, when did I get so many stupid trash in the deck? Banish you, banish you, banish you. All of them. I'm gonna banish all of them. I know every turn I get another one back, but might as well banish every single one of them right now. It's gonna take like three turns for all of them to come back. Boom, boom. Fire Chieftain, destroy them. 368 damage, Chieftain. Refresh once. And Murloc, no, skip. We have too many already. I'm gonna maybe banish two normal Murlocs. Six damage, Murloc. Six damage, seven damage, five damage. One damage. You're out. Actually, I think I don't want any more Murlocs, right? I think that's the play. Just straight up throw this guy out. Right? We want 17 units. Yeah, we're gonna stop picking up Murlocs. We don't need you anymore. You did the job you were supposed to do. Yeah, that, that was so simple. Just throw out the guy that generates infinite Murlocs. <laughs> it's that simple. And everything died. And everything died. You know what? When this guy, nearby Murlocs get AoE, hits this guy, which is that he has AoE, and he is ranged, so he hits the whole board, it's just instant win. Get Narsic Golem, yep, whatever. Attack, 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 everything just died. Tra! Tra! How about you? Generate Battle Cries, no. Damage Taking Medusas, no. Refresh Electric, no. A Nature Minion, which are Murlocs, by the way. Gain plus two attack. No, refresh away. Get removals. Recruit Minions, refresh away. Werewolves attack with Blood Wolf. Too late. Medusas. Nope. Uh, Death plus plus five. No. Where are the Murloc passives, man? Where are the Murloc passives? Do, do, do. Here it is. 80% chance to generate Toxic Fog when a Murloc attacks. Found it. One of the two. Dragons here. Skip them. Skip them. Let's go fire the machine gunnery. Up. Attack, attack, attack. The, the Chieftain is not on the board, by the way. Skip. I would like to banish one of my base Murlocs because we're gonna always have three. Uh, we're always gonna have three totems on the deck on the board, and we need to always have the chieftain in in the deck too in, in attacking always. But not one of those because only two are right here. Attack them all, nice. Skip. Let's banish both of these. I can actually just start using all my banishes for every single turn and just remove all the sacred golems every single turn. Because now, for example, yeah, if this guy is not on the board, we're gonna lose. We found the vampire a bit too late. Skip. Bye bye you. Bye bye you. Uh, maybe throw one Murloc more out. Maybe throw one more Murloc out. So we have borderline the exact deck we want. Throw one more Murloc out, the one damage one. Nice. Fire, 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 and you no fire. Whoop. Everything died. 161 damage. Skip. Continue. And one more enemy is left. This guy. Close to them. 44 poison, by the way. At this point, we're 100% poison. Tentacles, crits, deal damage. No. Remove menu. No. Fresh away. Alhounds and whatnot. No. Ghost ships. No. The walls are powerful. No. Fresh away. Generate one toxic fog when adventurers dies. Nope. Nope. Fresh away. Kill everything. Remove inorganic minions. Deal damage. No. Still trying to find it. Remove two minions, gain one legendary minion, no. Gain two colossus, no. Fresh away. And we didn't find it. It's okay though. Ah, let's get dragons become more powerful, doesn't really matter. And another dragon <laughs> at the start of the turn. Blade waves, no. Fresh away. None of these, let's go. And the final boss is here. Let's see if we can beat him. So first of all, these guys have insane health. Gain one steel barricade. The barricade is bad. Damage taken minus one per barricade. So we definitely need to all the time, every turn, remove barricades. And this guy's have 536 life. So first of all, I'm going to start banishing everything that is not relevant. Which I already know what it is. Deal two blood arrows. Shadow ball attack plus three. Could be cool. Fresh away. Fresh away. Sun core. I needed that yesterday. And I will see the ability of all the sun shards. We're going to banish you. We're going to banish you. And we're also going to banish this guy. I don't need more refreshes. We're not going to add more things to the deck. And the reason why I'm doing these banishes is because we're going to have these barricades now starting joining the deck. Actually, do these join the deck? No, I don't think they join the deck. Honor, refresh, skip. And Murloc Chieftain has 43 damage, 400 damage, Chieftain damage. Let's go. And this should be the win, right? Attacks. 
The Murlocs next to the OE. Fire! Fire! Okay, this guy has 489 life. Let's start scaling Murlocs. Let's start scaling Murlocs. I have five turns. I have five turns to win. Let's go. 487 life. Attack my... Wow, he instantly destroyed him. I was like, I have four turns. This guy's like 450 damage. That's nothing. Whoop. <laughs> it deleted. I loved it. I love this guy. Uh, let's let's see the stats of it at the end of the day. This guy had how much damage? He had 47 damage. And he attacked 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I mean, what? this is 5 plus 5 and 1 and 2. So that's a 12. This guy attacked 12 times. Deal one extra attack and repeat one time from Murloc on the void. And if he counts himself, then this is 12 Murloc. So he was doing 12 times, let's say 50. So his damage was 600 almost. So the opponent just didn't have enough life to survive. <laughs> 452. Nice. In insanity. And the next level, 15. Gain three steel barricade at the start of each wave after the seventh. Fair enough. 3% chance to attack minus one temporary. Although tomorrow we'll most likely go into Endless if you guys comment enough about it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Run was fun. Game is still awesome. I'm going to continue playing this every single day. And you know why? Because these are 20 minute runs. If if I was doing... I mean, normally I'm doing 40 minute and 50 minute days, right? So I was thinking I should do two runs of this. I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm expressing my opinion right now, 15 videos in the series, but you know, whatever. Um, the reason why I'm doing 20 minute videos is because this way I can upload two of them, right? I can upload End of the Devil and another game because this takes me only 20 minutes and most of the runs are fun anyway and just they just blaze through. So that's why I'm doing only one run. So if you want to see more, I guess there is a whole playlist of these. At this point, I have like 15 videos and all of them are one after the other one breaking the game. So the, the game is pretty easy and fun and also pretty cheap as far as I know. So yeah, that's going to be it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, thanks for watching and see you guys around.